You have an environment built on Microsoft Azure and it needs to be FedRAMP compliant. What controls do you need to put in place in order to accomplish this? Hi, my name is Scott Chapman. I'm the CISO for Project Host and today I want to talk with you about the CA family of controls in the FedRAMP control set. CA stands for Security Assessment and Authorization. A big part of these controls is the requirement to have annual security assessments from a third-party assessment organization, or 3PAO. In these assessments, there first needs to be a security assessment plan created, or an SAP. And then, the assessment needs to have at least three parts. One is a manual assessment of all the controls, which means testing to make sure that what you say you do, you actually do, control by control. The second is to do vulnerability scanning, it's vulnerability scanning similarly to what you do due to the RA controls on a monthly basis, but the 3PAO does it, in this case, separately. And then penetration testing uh, to test trying to escalate privileges beyond what you give them um, and giving them the highest privileges that any customer could have. So after that testing is accomplished, then there is a security assessment report that is delivered by the 3PAO and that's what happens in your annual assessment. A second part of this control family is having to keep up to date a POAM or plan of actions and milestones. The POAM is where you record all of the vulnerabilities and issues that came up during your annual audit but also that come up during your monthly uh, vulnerability scans and, and other areas. So keeping that up to date is very time consuming because every month new vulnerabilities pop up and have to be remediated. We have a tool that takes the input from our scanners and, and populates the tool, populates our POEM automatically and then moves over to the completed POEM items when those have been remediated by the next month. So that's the second part and then along with that is a continuous monitoring plan that you have to have in place that includes both your scanning and your POEM, but in addition it includes all of your log correlation and, and the information you get from your SIEM system, as we talked about in the auditing set of controls. And then uh, finally there's an area in this control family that has to do with interconnections to other cloud services. So anytime that you have information moving from your cloud service to another one, you have to sign an interconnection security agreement with that other party. We have to sign one with Microsoft Azure because we're built on Azure, and we've also signed one with one of our software vendors that needs to connect out to AWS for one of their functions that they do. So um, that's mainly it for the CA control family, and I hope this has been informative. If you have any questions about the CA control family or FedRAMP in general, please contact us. Also, please have a look at some of the other videos in this series and let us know what you think. Thanks very much.